Considering everything they're up against, Aquila City has done well for itself. It's got the necessities and it's safe. That's impressive. Need some work done? You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cost plenty. Looks to me like you've already in pretty good shape. You the courier? I've been expecting you. Star Parcel has your payment right here. Anything else you need? You. Look at this place. Ridiculous, right? Why would someone open a mining supplies business on an ocean planet? Exactly. It's a wonderful I can't day. believe this place is still open. I give it a few more months before this loser packs it in. Ah, oh, don't be such a jerk. We should look around and see if there's something we can buy. Welcome. Welcome, my friend. It's been a long time since I've seen a new face. Isn't it obvious, my friend? I sell mining supplies of all shapes and sizes, as well as many, many hard-to-find types of ore. Everything I sell is carefully portioned, securely crated, and ready to be delivered right into the cargo hold of your ship. I'm afraid it is. You see, when I opened this shop, I had grand ambitions of creating a mining supply empire on Volai. Yet here I am. Only a few years later, pockets empty, and my business on the verge of closure. It is a sad day. I don't know, my friend. I suppose I would be at Neon's mercy. Just another failed dreamer, walking the streets and living in a sleep crate. That would be a blessing, my friend, but I wouldn't want to impose. do that for a total stranger? Bless you, my friend. Bless you. I've come up with an idea that I'm hoping will generate a lot of interest in my business, and you were the final element that was missing. If you could bring these flyers to some of the other vendors in Neon, it would explain how we can improve our businesses as a group. Wonderful. Simply wonderful. You have no idea the weight you have lifted from my shoulders. I appreciate your help. If there's anything else... Certainly, my friend. I hope you have a glorious day, my friend.
Hey there. I'm interested in some of your mining gear, but I'm gonna I'm sorry, my friend, but prices are set in stone. I'm afraid I cannot provide any discounts. Oh, come on, man. Where am I supposed to go mining a Volai Alpha? It's nothing but ocean. Look, I'll pay 50%, but no more. You should be happy, you know? I don't exactly see any customers clamoring at your doors. No, I cannot do that. You have to pay what everyone else pays. Psst. Have it your way. You good? What's up? A lot of the merchants in Neon are having a tough time. This place is going and to be gone. This place is no exception. You'll see. Hey, you might want this. Gold digger. <laughs> if you're here to buy, take a look around the shop. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Stuff things in your pocket and run. Rob me a gun. <laughs> I've survived on Neon far too long to take. Maybe. That's up to you. The rules are rules. If you don't like it, talk to Styx. He runs our, um... Uh, see that giant Model A right over there? Yeah, that's Styx. And if I were you, I wouldn't get on his bad side. He has a very short temper. That's more like it. You know, I'm sick and tired of people coming in here and treat. I mean, look at that graffiti they sprayed onto his chassis. Ah, oh, fuck it. I don't need any handouts. I'll pass. No, that's not what I'm saying. It's no big secret. I lost it fighting on the Freestar side during the Colony War. I was a ground pounder, slogged it out in the trenches with the troops. And did pretty well, too, until an EM weapon took out our transport. They pulled me out of the wreckage, but the damage was done. Honestly, I, I, I consider myself lucky. You're in luck. Just got You hey, Dusty. Sticks. If you're no, ever no. thinking to yourself, I'm sorry. Oh, I, I could really clearly. listen to Barrett's dulcet voice no, right now. You just Minister didn't forget forget. about me. Stop by and say hello, okay? I'm sorry. Hey, so I thought you might like this. I hope you do. No one understands you, stupid piece of tin. That's the problem. I knew someone who collected those things once. <laughs> Seems so long ago. Anyway, I figured you... I bet you do. And if not, well... You can always try to sell it. If I see anything on our next expedition to a planet, then I'll hang on to it for you. I've been thinking a lot about my early days in Constellation lately. Got me pretty nostalgic, and I started digging in some old things. Just sort of reminiscing. I found some of Irvin's last messages to me and thought I'd listen to them again to hear his voice. Oh, 
Sorry, I got ahead of myself there. Remember a bit ago we were talking about Constellation? I've just been thinking about it since. And Irvin, my husband, used to be in Constellation way back when. So my mind jumped to thinking about him. So I was listening to these old messages to hear his voice. No, I apparently read at least a few of these. I just don't remember. It was a difficult time. It was surreal, honestly. So most of the messages were everyday things. Lots of excitedly written news about biodiversity and plant life. But one thing stood out. In one of his messages, he mentioned this job that he took at a mine shortly before he died. He said something terrible was happening there. But the message was garbled after that. Kind of. I mean, it depends, right? If it's something that's still happening today, then I care. True, but this was different. I recognized this pattern from the war. A portion of the message was encrypted. Well, Vasco helped me decipher it. Turns out the message was from Irvin, and he was begging me to help him. The message was short, but his voice was pained. He was so upset. He said they were going to destroy his life if he didn't leave the planet now. Then he asked me to help clear his name. Said they had a case against him. Oh, he sounded so upset. No, he was frustrated and angry. He said they were going to destroy his name. <sighs> yes. Hearing his voice in so much pain was very difficult. Oh, I wish I had noticed this message when he sent it. So in this message, Irvin said he was being framed. He said they'll do it again. He asked if Constellation could send more help. His former employers had some job he took before he died. I think it was a mining company. Not exactly sure, but he mentioned a court case. So I think there's a paper trail. No, I just thought it was garbled. I just wasn't paying attention. I don't know. It is, but I was thinking about it and well, it's still wrong, right? So I figured, hey, I can do some sort of a remote investigation here, see what I can find out. There's gotta be a paper trail, right? Now, I happen to have a trustworthy contact who knows a bit about law and owes me a favor. I need to pay in advance in case there are any access fees or bribes. Well, he knows how to navigate archived and redacted legal documents, so he'll look for anything to do with Irvin on Gagarin. If those documents are protected, he might have to pay to access them. He might need to grease some palms, too. That works. I'll tell them to go ahead with the investigation. You know, hearing Irvin's voice again made me want to help him, <laughs> even though I know I can't. Does that make any sense? I appreciate that. It's going to be hard to get some sleep tonight after all this. But the fact that I'm doing something about it might be enough to help. Hopefully poking around in old records doesn't catch the attention of Hephaestus. Well, anyway, I'll let you know if my contact finds anything. Security, welcome to Neon Tactical. I'm sorry, your inquiry is invalid. Neon Tactical deals in weapons and armor for use in combat, for paint, and home decor. Please visit the appropriate vendor. 
Frank Reddick is the proprietor of Neon Tactical. My primary function is security and protection. Affirmative. Your complaint is noted. All complaints are set to be ignored or returned with violence. As a result, the nature of the complaint is irrelevant. Only the person filing it is recorded. Goodbye. The other day, Sticks, uh, I met a miner from Kazal. I'm sorry. I did not understand your query. Please rephrase. Yeah, I didn't get her either. Not at first. But then I realized she wasn't a miner. She was a gold digger. <laughs> How did I know? Because all she ever wanted was mine. <laughs> get it? Yeah, you get it. Sticks, you're laughing under that thing. I can tell. I'm sorry. I did not understand your query. Please rephrase. Kinetics. Looking to blow a hole in something? Not something I'm interested in. If you've got the credit. Dietrich's been great at the meetings. Here, let me see that. Oh, not a bad idea. You might be onto something. Of course. Thanks for stopping by our shop. Now, James? Need something? Kevin and Astis is running into some trouble. Work for the wise? You don't want a piece of that. Submit your application. <laughs> Welcome, off-worlder, to the Hotel Voli. Your home away from home here... It's nice to see you today. Welcome to the Hotel Voli. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised that... That's the first thing that all of my hotel is completely free from administrative. Indeed it does. And all it took was a dash of my own, but that's a story. So can I book you a room for the night? Oh, thanks. I'll definitely give this some thought. It couldn't hurt. Let me know if I can help you while you're visiting Neon. So go out, have your fun, live your best life. We'll be here when you're ready. Oh, the hotel uh, hello. With us. Blow off some steam. Hey there, Say someone who gives a damn. Better not be a waste of my time.
Yeah? Buying, selling, or moving. Yeah? Well, then let me spell it out for you. You either walked into the TA to buy some goods, sell some goods, or have some liberated. So, instead of wasting my time making me explain how the... Hey, I never said stole. You used that word, not me. Look, let's stop playing games. We both know what I'm talking about. I don't need it. Not it. Done here. Time to move on. Thanks for choosing Terra Brew. What can I get you? Certainly. Please take your... Corporate policy requires me to state that everything... be doing this than getting mixed up with the gangs. Planning on using a no, thank you. You're always welcome here. Love the vibe of this place. Too bad I can't squeeze in the Aurora. What I don't sell ends up in trouble. the magic happens. And by magic, I mean creating Aurora out of fish guts, I guess. We serve delicious foods from around the galaxy. Hey there. Welcome to our world eats. Fantastic. I'm sure you'll be pleased. My husband Lee and I have spent years sourcing the most interesting foods from you can't find this type of cuisine anywhere else in Neon. We're very proud of our specialty menu. The 
visitors and transplants. That was the idea. Eh? Turns out that our little niece has also created our biggest. To do that, we need to constantly source ingredients from across the settled system. That's how we're operating right now. It's terribly expensive. Eh, La Torah, you're not here to listen to my life story. Well, let me stop talking so you can take a... Oh, I guess it couldn't hurt to take a look at this. Next time you're feeling hungry, look us up again. It's, uh, I mean, uh, welcome. Welcome to Zeno Fresh Seafood, would you like? <sighs> My apologies. If you wish to register a complaint, please fill out one of our comments. I am the manager. Maybe we should come back later. Or never. Honest. In the meantime, may I suggest you try a tube of trawl? It's... What? No. Oh, oh, you're leaving? Uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Face. Hello. I'm sorry if I sound rude, but would you mind coming back later? We're actually closed right now. I just forget to pull down the shutters. Oh, you're so kind. I really appreciate what you're trying to do, but I don't feel strong enough to talk about it right now. Perhaps another time. Yes, I suppose keeping it bottled up inside isn't the best idea, now is it? The thing is, well, I lost my husband Thomas last week. He... he supposedly had a heart attack and fell from the upper platform. Of course, that's the official word from Neon Security. I'm not so sure they're telling me the truth. He was almost 70, but according to Dr. Manning over at Reliant, he was in good health. Heart attack, my eye. There's no way that's what happened. No, they certainly aren't. How that security officer could stand there and tell me Thomas died of a heart attack. Well, it's a damn lie is what it is. I, I'm, I'm sorry, this is my problem. You're just here to shop, and here I am filling your head with my conspiracy theories. Please forgive me. Honestly, I'm not sure if more business would be exciting or... Oh my, you're the first person in this awful, awful city that's reached out to help me. Thank you. The truth is all I've ever wanted. I suppose the proper place to start would be with Neon Security's witness, Tevin Anastas, that pompous ass over at the Emporium in Neon. Just please be very careful. I don't want to end up with two murders on my conscience. Sure. Careful. Leon is a dangerous place.
evil jokes, say those Varun Zealots versions. Under arrest, no sudden moves. Searching a fine, upstanding citizen like you would be a waste of time. you drag me in here? You said you wanted to buy something nice. All of our items are guaranteed to be of the highest quality. <sighs> are you sure you're in the right place? You certainly don't look like one of our usual clientele. She has expensive tastes. There's expensive, and then there's... I cater to the high-end client. Affluent, intelligent, and successful. In Neon, that would be what we call the upper 10%. I take it from your tone I've made an error in judgment. Please forgive my disrespect. We have quite a few, shall we say, thugs that find their way into my establishment and create a disturbance. In fact, there's a particular Seoka member who calls himself Headlock, who repeatedly torments me by damaging my goons. The Seoka Syndicate, of course. I'm surprised you haven't run into any of them. They're a group of organized criminals who use threats and violence to push their own agenda. And honest people like me tend to suffer the consequences. They're based out of Neon, but no one is certain who runs the Syndicate. Could be anyone. My education on Jemison consisted entirely of academics and poetry, so it's unlikely I'd be successful in that regard. Not all self-defense is physical. Knowing how to hide or avoid confrontation is a skill, too. Anyway, I've already taken up too much of your valuable time. Was there anything else I could help you with? Oh? Well, maybe I'll give it some thought. Maybe. Exquisite. Oh my goodness, that's such a relief. You have no idea. Thank you for accepting my offer. Headlock's quite a dangerous gentleman. I believe you can find him hanging out somewhere in Epside near Frankie's Grab and Go. You say that, but Seoka aren't exactly pushovers when it comes to this sort of thing, so you better watch your ass. Anyway, that's really all I know. Head back here when you've taken care of the situation. Good luck. I'm not telling you a thing. I've already reported what I saw to security. Stop wasting my time and leave. Your presence is bad for business. 
Please visit us again if you're in the market for a luxury item. Headlock will destroy our ship. I'm not telling you a thing. Stop wasting. There's nothing to tell you. Get it through your skull. I suppose I understand. Listen, I don't want anything bad to happen. Oh my god, enough! I'll tell you what I know, if it'll get you to leave. <sighs> I saw it happen. Thomas was murdered and thrown into the ocean. Afterwards, I foolishly reported the incident to security. For my efforts, I was rewarded with a gun to my head and threatened with death if I didn't keep silent. Ah, come on. I'm not risking life and limb to save someone I barely know. There are people that get paid to do that. I'm not one of them. So I simply prioritized my own safety and didn't get involved. Ah, a lot of good that did me. Really? Am I not allowed to leave my own shop now? Yeah, if you really must know, I was going for a walk. Shocking, I'm sure. No. The officer that threatened me was completely different. And the murderer wasn't wearing a uniform. I'd wager that the murdering bastard has a friend in security that's covering things up for him. It uh, was hard to hear over the commotion, but I'm sure I heard Thomas call his attacker Russell and Rusty a few times. From what I could gather, the attacker was after credits and Thomas refused to give him any. After that, well, Thomas went for a swim. God, no. I've seen him around here and there, but if he ever were to come into my shop, i tell him to leave immediately. In fact, I would never even talk to someone like him. I have no business dealing with petty criminals or Aurora addicts. Where else would someone like him be, hmm? He stays at the sleep crates near Madame Sauvage's place. In any case, when you confront him, my name cannot be mentioned. I very much dislike sharing Thomas's briny fate. And with that, I must insist you leave me in peace. That is, of course, unless you'd like to make a hefty purchase. It's a bad place for tourists these days. Hey, buddy. Why don't you throw a few credits my way, huh? Help a guy out, yeah? End up in the ocean? What the hell are you... Wait. No, no, no. He, he told me that everything was taken care of. No one would know. Listen, you gotta hear me out. I never meant to do anything. It was an accident. A friend. An old buddy in security. But that's all you're getting from me. I, I'd rather take my chances with you than with him. Why else? I needed some creds for Aurora. And everyone knows he and his wife run that shitty little shop. All they do is rip people off. He was bound to have creds. I got in a fight with Thomas. I asked him for some creds, but the bastard wouldn't give me anything. Things got out of hand. He ended up falling off the upper platform. It was an accident, I swear. Then I... I called my buddy in security and told him what happened. He took care of everything after that. Shit, I know. I know. I never wanted things to end up like that. For the love of God, I didn't even get any creds off of it. Listen, I messed up. I know that. 
but nothing can change what's already done. Just let me go and I'll disappear forever. No one will ever see me again. No one even needs to know I'm alive. Just come on, just let me go. No, I, I can't let that happen. Why couldn't you just let me go? Not. Uh, you're okay, right? Well, they don't need it now. That side's a bad place for tourists these days. Hey, buddy. End up in the ocean? What the? Wait. Listen, you got it? I got in a fight with things. Then I... Hell no, I'm not doing that. Um, listen, I messed up. I know no one will ever see me. Oh, my God. You don't need to worry. No one will ever see me again. I, I swear it. Please, tell me everything you know. I want to hear it all. I knew it. I just knew that I was being fed lies. Nothing added up right from the start. <sighs> Neon security. How can they sleep at night and act like my husband's life wasn't worth anything? My husband's killer. Did you find him? What happened to him? Rusty. I believe he was one of the Jennerdine workers that would come around and cause trouble. Steal things, vandalize, or the like. They were a rowdy bunch. My husband usually handled the troublemakers and became well acquainted with Rusty and his so-called friends. Vandalism and shoplifting is one thing, but murder? I just never thought things could go this far. So, what did you do with Rusty? Well, I guess I don't much care for what you did with him, as long as he paid for what he did. And about security, did you find out which officer is behind the cover-up? It's for the best, I suppose. Going after security is suicide for us both. Knowing the truth is vindication enough. In a weird way, I'm... relieved? No, that's not the right word. I guess I'm just glad that I know the truth, even if it won't bring my husband back to me. I never would have figured out the truth without you. 
Oh, you're so sweet. In any case, please know how great... You're the only person to ever show kindness to me in this city. Thank you for it. to purchase. Hello, my friend. Ah, thank you so much, my friend. I believe that this will be a great boon for my business. Thank you for taking the time to do this for me. It is not often to see such kindness here in Neon. Thank you again. Besides, a bad place for tourists these days. I do it myself. Keep it moving. Sleep crates for rent. It's tight. Better have credits to spend. You lost, kiddo. Sounds like something a thief would say. I had some high hopes for this shop back when my husband and I opened it a while back. These days, if you ain't a regular, you're usually trouble. Of course, something happened. Ain't that always the case? Let's just say those hopes died a long time ago, and there ain't no reviving them. And live in a UC? No thanks. Besides, I ain't about to let a few undesirables chase me away from what I've built here. Never heard of them. Now, are you gonna buy something or just annoy me all day? How am I supposed to know where he is? You're just annoying enough that this might work. I hear you. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. You just won't give up, will you? 
Yeah, I know Headlock can't stand them. And I heard some of the other Sioka can't either. That boy doesn't know how to keep himself out of trouble. What'd he do this time? He's a customer. You're not here to interrogate me, so let's... Get... You are so ignorant. They're not all bad. In any case, if you're so desperate to find him, he and his friends are probably hanging out. I gotta ask. I have no affection for him whatsoever. He's a good-for-nothing thug, and a boastful one at that. I wouldn't mind seeing him get smacked around and put in his place. But that doesn't mean I think he should be killed. <laughs> That's one way to punish him. <laughs> you'll just bore him to death. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a business to get back to. Check it out. See you around. If you're not here to do business, you best leave before we get pissed off. And who do we have here? You here for business, or to get your head caved in? Is that so? I'm not just some low-life thug anymore. I'm with the Sioka now. You mess with me, you'll mess with the whole Syndicate, and that won't end well for you. The Ebside Strikers. I ran with them for a good long while, but then it just became embarrassing. I couldn't even feed myself when I was with them. I clawed myself out of the gutter, and Sioka took notice. My talents were being squandered with the Strikers. I was too good for them. Oh, so you think you're funny, huh? Keep talking like that, and I'll make sure you're eating trawl through it. So go on, Hotshot. Give me a reason why I should leave Tevin and his shitty little store alone. Go on, enlighten me. But don't waste my time. <sighs> it's annoying how you're making sense right now. I do it because I like doing it. I don't need any benefits from it. Ah, <sighs> looking over your shoulder in neon can get old. It kills me to say this, but I see your point. Fine, we won't go around to the Emporium any longer. Whatever. Next time, I might not be so nice. I'm watching you.
I'm not one to get involved with the rubble, so I'm glad you came along when you did. Thank you for your help. Come back soon. You never know what we'll have for a saint. Welcome to Kelp Core. Again! Look, you can tell Mr. Okaribo that I'm doing everything I can. Plug from a stone, if you'll pardon the expression. Oh, my lord. You aren't here about Mr. Okaribo's debt to Kelp Core. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Let me start over. My name's Clover McKenna, but you can call me Chloe. Sorry for me outburst. I'm not sure. I think he's afraid that I won't be here. You'll have to deal with me, father. Someone who has a lot less patience than I do. Just a few weeks ago, he paid some poor fella to come up here and request a bit more time to pay back his debt. That's why I snapped at you like that. I thought he'd done it again. That's kind of you. This mess with Mr. Okadibo over at the Neon Mining League has really thrown me off my game. Normally, yes, but in this case, Mr. Okadibo has put me in a real bind. Mr. Okadibo owes a substantial debt to Keltkor. I've given him more than enough time to try and come up with the money, but my father's patience is running out. Frankly, I don't know how much longer I can stall. You'd be willing to help out. That's awfully kind of you. Just because I work for a megacorp doesn't mean I don't have a heart. Saburo, uh, I mean, Mr. Okadigo. He's one of the nicest people you'll ever meet, especially in this city. He really needs help. But he's too proud to accept any money from me. Maybe he'd listen to someone like you? Oh, that'd be splendid. Just... amazing. If you can get his debt off my conscience, I'd be grateful. It's been on my mind so much I've been keeping a diary. And don't worry about payment. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. McKenna always keeps that promise. When he opened the shop, he outfitted it with equipment from our company. Spent a bundle of cash he didn't have. Obviously business hasn't been going well, because he's fallen way behind on his payments. Opening a mining business on a world almost entirely covered in ocean probably wasn't the most savvy of business plans. I suppose he intended to cater to travelers that were passing through our system. But it's clearly backfired. That poor man. Nice visiting with you.
I know your type. The free wheel in space. Ace. Must be nice. Sorry, I'm busy at the moment. Take it easy. I appreciate, I'm confident my fellow business people will see the benefits of the cross promotion. Oh, she did. Miss McKenna is very kind, but I cannot accept. It is my responsibility to pay the loan. If I cannot, then what happens, happens. Really? Let me take a look. Oh. I did not know she felt this way. She is always so professional. I thought she did not like me. That is why I have sent proxies to negotiate my debt. It was good of you to stop by, my friend. Something I can do for you? Clover McKenna, at your service. That's fantastic! I was worried he'd take it the wrong way, so I'm glad you were able to convince him. I'll arrange for the funds to be transferred immediately. Hopefully Father will forgive the late fees. And if he doesn't, I can always reimburse them when he retires. In any case, thank you. And here, for your efforts.
forms here right now. But it's got a lot of character, doesn't it?
advised. You are entering United Colony space. Please maintain course and prepare to be scanned. All right, we're done. You're clear to land at New Atlantis. Ellie's work in my head. Inventory on the station. Next supply run. Oh, sore. One too many squats. That's why I missed your little welcome party. Got caught up plotting all the data the eye can give us. Wouldn't mind the helper's hand, though. Could speed the process along. Up-to-date planetary scans would help filter all the data I have to sift through. Maybe help to find the anomalous bits. And Constellation can slide a credit or two your way. All part of the mission of charting the stars, right? When you're orbiting a planet, your ship's scanners can pick up all sorts of information. It all gets downloaded into data you can hand over to anyone. Then we're hand and hand in agreement. Now get out there and burn some helium. And the darkness gets lit just a candle more. Lucky I noticed the pattern in one of those artifacts you pulled out. Here.
any way we can repay you? Done. You take care out there. Checks out. Landing initiated. Nice to see you. Let me guess. <laughs> you missed me and you couldn't stay away. Even humans would struggle.
like we've been gone forever. Got a moment? Let's catch up. enjoying our time together. Thought you should know. It's been a long time since I worked with someone so closely. I didn't realize how much I missed it. And you haven't stopped me from looking into this stuff with Irvin either. So, thank you. See, that's what makes you a good captain in my book. You're supportive. On that note, I do have some news about Irvin's case. So, I wanted to let you know that I heard back from my contact. And I think you'll want to hear this. They sent me a copy of some public records. It's interesting. There was a claim filed against Irvin, accusing him of damaging their investments. Looks like Irvin didn't even enter a plea. the Hephaestus Mining Corporation, and they also won the case. Some of Irvin's paychecks were seized, as well as any assets that weren't under joint ownership. Well, if it was Irvin, I do want to understand that, because I just can't believe it. Anyway, this mining corporation, Hephaestus, sued Irvin, claiming he irreparably damaged their mine. They said he killed the apex predators in the area around the mine, which led to herd creatures overeating the grasses. That caused the soils to release too many gases too fast, which cost Hephaestus a ton of money. They claimed the creature he killed was a critical hive species that caused a cascade effect when they were killed off. Irvin killed the equivalent of a queen bee, and the whole hive collapsed, basically. It looks like they considered him a no-show and ruled against him. So anyway, according to the court documents, there was a witness for the defense, who was a no-show too. Then Hephaestus won by default. They tried to take his apartment, but because it's in my name too, they couldn't. I didn't know he bought it. Must have been a better deal than renting for the time he was there. They withdrew their testimony the morning of the trial. Said they had a sincere change of heart. Yes, they plan to stay in the same system for a while. That doesn't mean we can't do anything about it. And if nothing else, I just want to know more about what happened to Irvin. So here's what I was thinking. I can persuade my contact to keep digging a little bit more. I don't want to press our luck, so I'll just ask them to follow up on one thing. Should I tell them to investigate the company more or look into the witness instead? For that much money, <laughs> they'll do it. You know, this investigation is time consuming, but it's also pretty cathartic. And who knows, maybe if we solve this case, it'll mean it. But that's thinking too far ahead.
checks out, good to go. Don't need it now. You're doing well, Leon. Almost there. I know. Things have been difficult. The mantle of the Mantis is a heavy burden. But you can do so much good. The spacers and pirates need someone to fear. Someone to check them. To make them realize some lines cannot be crossed. You have it in you, Leon. I know you do. Stay sharp. Focused. Just a little further. She remembered she even had a son. 
It was... hard to hear. Almost touching. But then the punchline. No inheritance until I go to Mom's secret base on Denabolo 1B. And she ends not with an I love you or an I'm proud of you. No. Six Semper Tyrannus. Oh my god. Always with that stupid Latin saying. Over and over she'd say that damn thing. Thanks, Mom. Thanks oh so much.
Spacious is so I mean, the mantis is a Always tale. put Vasco Someone over. to keep pirates from Me going too, off though. the deep end. Me too. I, I guess that's possible. She never talked about where she got her fortune. And man, she could handle herself anywhere. It's a, a lot to take in. collective. The ones that matter. Pirates, mercs, and those religious nut jobs. We always knew there were some places left over from the colony war. Bases, labs, stuff like that. But now it's come out that there are even more. A lot more. Spread all over the settled systems. Looks like the big two didn't play by their own rules when they were playing war. Now it's a friggin' feeding frenzy. Everyone trying to find them. Trying to use them. So why shouldn't we? We have just as much right as they do. So let's go looking. I'm here. I'm hot. And I'm tired. So thanks, Mom. Best gift ever. The stupid code worked. And the door scanned my biometric. Surprise, it's me. Then I heard Mom. I nearly had a heart attack. She's at her lair. Yeah. Lair, what a freak, is meant for the worthy. So all I have to do is take some tests. I just want to get this over with.
May as well, right? Shoot! I am unarmed! Look, we can help each other. I can be useful. Just don't kill me. Livy, and I mean you, uh, no harm. This place was full of traps. Traps everywhere. I removed them. But this, this corridor is just too dangerous. See? Looks normal. One step inside, slam! You are trapped. And nobody's been standing after the doors reopen. It's true. So many of my crewmates are gone. And this corridor is the worst. But I figured it out. There are letters on the floor. It is a grid. Those letters must spell something. But there are so many words or small phrases. Five? Six? It's hard to find volunteers. I really thought we had it with M. Mantis. Ah, oh, poor Fred. Why does everyone always say that? See? I've been helpful. You... you could let me... Or better, I can help. I know... Please, let me help. And just give me a taste... Nope. That's not a good idea. sacrificed too much no I I won't go I will fight you Spacers claim this area. Hmm, you can tell by the odor.
The suspense is killing me. What's new? You got it.
shotgun. Gladly. Selling or using? show this lair to you. The lair is a secret that's been passed down for over a hundred years. And there are rules. You remember when you were a teenager? All the training, the drills, all of it was to prepare you for this. I know you have it in you, Leon. You're here. The lair now belongs to you.
it yourself. It just fits better.
like butter.
Time to dance among the stars. something for you. Hmm? Yes, right. Anything I can... Got anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always buying. Kiosk right here. Sure, how about it?
someone leave some food out before we left? Whoa! If something's on your mind, you can tell me. Now that we have a moment, I wanted to ask how you're feeling. After your experience at the temple, you've given everyone at the lodge quite a scare. Why am I concerned? Hmm. Let's think for a moment. Ah, yes. It isn't exactly an everyday occurrence to stumble across a mysterious temple and absorb some type of strange alien energy from within. That's distressing, but to be expected, I suppose. According to what I've heard, your body absorbed an almost unquantifiable amount of energy of a type we can't even begin to understand. We're dealing with something unknown to modern science. Who knows how this encounter has affected your body or your mind? Although I don't know the exact nature of the energy you absorbed, I'm fairly certain it means you no harm. I don't have any scientific data to back that up, so you'll just have to trust my intuition. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Hmm. I know you're simply trying to brush this off with humor, but you really should act more concerned. That temple proves we're dealing with entities of unknown origin. The problem is that we can't even begin to guess what their intention was towards us and where they've gone. It's a possibility I've considered, but I'm not 100% convinced. The only thing we can be certain of is that the technology we've encountered points to beings that live outside the settled systems. Perhaps that's true, or perhaps you were simply quite lucky. It's just that... Oh, I'm afraid that we're flying almost completely blind here. All we know for certain at this point is that whoever created the artifacts are the same beings that built the temple. Anything else is just guesswork. I might as well put on a blindfold and toss darts at theories written on the wall. As far as Constellation's concerned, you're the first human we're aware of that's ever encountered one of these places. Now, whether you consider that lucky or not, that's another matter entirely. Well, <laughs> what did you expect? This discovery is off the scale. Think about the significance of this research. The questions it raises alone are mind-boggling. Who was this wondrous structure built to accommodate? How long ago did these entities inhabit our universe? Are they still out there? Somewhere. Indeed, a mystery that I'm, well, hopefully both of us, are determined to solve. It's funny. I used to think the artifacts were the end-all be-all of scientific discovery. The pinnacle mystery of our time. Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine it would lead to something of this magnitude. I just hope that you'll come through this. Whatever it is, unharmed. Well, oh, yeah, yes, of course you are. I was speaking of the power you acquired. Uh, this is all scientifically speaking, of course. Look, I've already taken up too much of your time. All I can do is promise that I'm not going to make you deal with this mystery alone, whatever might be happening.
I'm here for you, my love. Welcome back. 